A man always gets the salesman to talk to the boss. This is Duncan as a 10-year-old boy. Duncan is currently 28 years old. As a child, Duncan's few fond memories revolved around his vitriolic grandfather, who took any opportunity to offer Duncan his smoky pearls of wisdom. There's nothing in this world worth waiting in line for. You know what's worse than a nobody? A nobody who tried. If you would have scored the winning goal, you would have been the hero. Duncan, there's winners, and then there's us. When Duncan graduated middle school, his grandfather bought a new Zippo for himself, brought it home, threw it high in the air to ignite it, lighting his first cigarette out of his third pack of the day. When Duncan's grandfather tragically succumbed to the impact of a Mack truck a week later, Duncan made it his mission to carry on the ancestral flame. So he smoked. When smoking, Duncan preferred to lounge on his couch and practice Zippo tricks. This is how Duncan lost his couch. Duncan now chews gum instead. This is April as a child. She is currently 27 years old. When April was young, her mother entered her in a contest to win a semi-regional Little Miss Glitters beauty pageant. Well, I guess you're the winner. Naturally, she won. Unable to face the passing of time gracefully, April's mother stole the trophy late one night in the throes of feeling sexually inadequate. Since then, April enters any contest she comes across. In the last 10 years, she has won a bagel slicer with a 28.8K modem, but no computer, three cartons of cigarettes, the entire Century Foods dictionary line from pocket version to full size, and a TV stand by Brasky. Her latest prize is a brand new Brasky Super Comfort Ultra Lounger, which will replace her perfectly functional two-cushion couch that she bought in an estate sale five years ago for $12. With no one to help her, April dragged the old couch down two flights of steps into the alley, making room for the new Ultra Lounger, which she had dragged up the same flight moments earlier. At this precise moment, Duncan is combing the alleys in search of a new couch to replace the one he set on fire while trying to emulate his grandfather. He finds a chair. A perfectly good chair. Not exactly what he wants, but it's too good a chair to pass up. Now Duncan is feeling lucky, so he chooses to test his luck on one more alley. At this precise moment, April is fluffing the lumbar pillows of her new Super Comfort Ultra Lounger by Brasky. She gives the new couch a test sit, and suddenly hears a loud truck pull up in her back alley. This is Granite. What are you doing with that couch? Up here. Do you need some help? Excuse me? I said, what are you doing with that couch? This couch? Yes, that couch. It's a nice couch.
When Duncan was 10, he received a Commander Bob action figure as a birthday gift. In a time when every 10-year-old boy fought wars in the far regions of the bedroom with G.I. Joe, Duncan defended the southern hemisphere of his with Commander Bob, the lowly, less-known store brand competitor of the famous G.I. While Commander Bob was no slouch on the battlefield, his ability to only kick one leg resulted in the other children banishing Duncan from battle games. With the sting of the children's taunts still ringing in his ears, Duncan buried Commander Bob on a mud-soaked hill in the middle of the flower bed. Unable to rebound from this tragic incident, Duncan recoiled, cutting himself off from the children's laughter. To this day, the incident still haunts him. Manifesting itself in an unwillingness to ever achieve any goals other than keeping himself in a comfortable state of mind. Thus, at the ripe age of 28, when others are reaping the benefits of careers, Duncan barely keeps his job as an intern. Although his job mainly consists of copying papers, Duncan is well liked in the office, if only because he fills his candy jar with brassy nicotine gum. A habit he picked up after the unfortunate torching of his couch. At this precise moment, most of Duncan's department is desperately trying to overcome a nicotine habit they acquired via the infamous candy jar. At present, Duncan spends most of his days shuffling papers from blue file folders to red file folders in anticipation of the famous Brasky vs. Stillman case. You may have read about it in your local papers. Yeah, so you got the package. I don't understand. No, not that package. I sent you a package. Well, it was more like a box. What do you mean, what size? What do I know about sizes? Sizes are your job. Well, I'll have to look into that. Duncan, we look into that? I'm done with the blues, boss. No, it was square. Not cylindrical. It would be my guess that it would look more like a box. Yeah, no, I'm going. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to win again. How many years in a row can you win? Did you stop looking? Hold on. Boss? Hold on. Find that package. What do you need, Duncan? I'm out of reds. I'm going to go get more. The 6144s? That's going to upset the whole Brasky Stillman case. Take Larry with you. No, I got it. On the other side of town, April spends her day arranging and rearranging stacks of file folders at the local file folder store. In between stackings, April sits at the counter, alone, filling out contest forms from various magazines. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Excuse me. Do you need some file folders? Um, yeah, the 6144s. What color? Red. Let me see what we have. We have 6134s, 6154s, or 6184s. No. 
That's gonna upset the entire Brasky Stillman case. Excuse me? Do you have any 6144s, though? I have 6134, 6154s, or 6184? No, 6144s. 6144s? Huh? Huh. We can order them. Why don't you give me the address? Hi. Hi. The red file folders? The address was the 6144s? The 6144s. I, uh, I found more of them. So, is this where you work? Here? Well, do you work here? Uh, upstairs. Well, I gotta go. I need five copies of this before 11. Duncan, can you track down that box we were talking about yesterday? Not the package. Duncan, I need a black with a cream and two sugars. Duncan, where's my pen jar? I know that case is open. What case? The Brassy Stillman case. Who won? We don't need those 6144s anymore. Worksheets then by two. Duncan, I need that package. Duncan, Susan from accounting. Oh.
The case was settled. We don't, we don't need the 6144s anymore. That's a shame. They're good file folders. Can I return them? Uh, yeah. C can I get a box of the 6184s? Type were they again? 6184s. Oh yeah, that's a nice model. Well, I'll get them for you. Got a big case going on. <laughs> Coffee. Can, Can I get I... another box of the 6184s? Where do you usually get coffee? Um, I usually stop by the place around the corner. Which corner? Hold on. This is where we are, and then you go left and across the street, around the corner, and it's right here. So, on the red pen side of the street. Yeah. And what time um, do you usually go get coffee? Right before the sun sets. So, dusk. Yeah. Every day? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't really drink coffee. Oh, uh, well, what do you drink? Water. Water? Well, do you want to get water sometime? I like water. I like water, too. I mean, I prefer bottled water, but sometimes I'll drink out of the tap. <laughs> Any favorites? Dabs? I, I, I like Brasky. I like Brasky. That's well, the water I like. <laughs> okay, well, that coffee place sells water, too. You know, the one on the red pen side of the street. Listen, Larry vouched for you. You're here because of Larry. And I think he'd be pretty disappointed. How? With you? Step one, inside there was a package. No, a package? Yeah, inside the box. Oh, we have to find that package. Oh. Duncan, no leaving today. We got some types with the Brasky Williams case. But boss, I, I had a... I'm,
You can allow past fears to diminish the future. Refuse to enter life's bigger contests. And simply miss the obvious. This is why you'll always be alone.